Hey, what's up guys? Shay from Electric MX here. Just super pumped that our order from Three Shoal came in. We're gonna be the Canadian distributor for them, trying to see how their product works with all our ongoing e-bikes. So we're very excited to do our installs. We'll have some video of those coming up. We're gonna be doing the Nikot e-beast and the admin jet today, as well as uh, Sharon Lightbee coming up and uh, Talaria Sting as well. So we're gonna be trying all these products out. So I'll go through them with you and show you a couple little things about them. So you can start here with uh, probably their most, going to be their most popular product in my opinion. Very, very good power on this unit here. So it comes with a wiring harness. You can create all your pins as you need. Here's your plug, comes with it, right? Very nice. Plugs right into the controller with this pin here. So we have USB. We have, we got the hall sensor. We got the encoder. We got the auxiliary 12 volt supply. We got uh, VIN high. We got uh, can. Can and we got the USB as well. So lots of this stuff you'll use, lots of stuff you won't use. There's also uh, regen. So just so you see that, here's the quality of the CNC. For, pretty good on the aluminum heat, heat sink there. Here's your product from the side. Threaded, threaded mounting hole, which is nice. So there's your plug, there's your plus, there's your minus, and there's your three phase wires right there. So there's your plug that goes into there like I was showing you. And there she is right there, CL700. So the difference with these controllers from most is that this one is rated for up to 126 volts. That's 30S. So, and the power on it is higher than most that you'll see, especially when you get into that voltage range. Uh, another cool thing about all these controllers is that they are rated down to 36 volts as well. So you can take it as far as you want. Okay, so now we're on to the CL350. So here's a nice little unit. This is what we're gonna be installing on the, uh, the light beam. So there's your Bluetooth module, so you can program it. It's external on these smaller units. It's internal on the bigger units. Nice anti, anti arcing power cord on this baby. See how they have them paralleled up so it's, it can handle the sauce, whatever you put into it, right? Because all their controllers, again, are rated to 126 volts. So you wanna be able to handle that once it goes through. There's your three phase wires coming off there. And here's again, your wiring plug, which is very similar. It also just has the Bluetooth on there, right? Cause you'll have to plug that in, but everything else is essentially the same. Slightly smaller plug on this guy, right? And your controller. All right. Okay, moving on to the CL1000. So we have a crazy build coming up with this. A couple of my friends do as well. So we're very excited for this. So this one is um, again, 126 volts and uh, we're gonna be putting it to it. So there's again, it's just slightly thicker, a little bit beefier than the, uh, than the 700. But yeah, essentially the same product. Again, lots of nice threading holes for mounting. It's, uh, it's a nice feature. There's my buddy's three show. So let's see how these products do in our testing. I'm very excited to see how she goes. So you can see everything is pretty good quality. If you guys wanna order this, you can go onto our website at www.electricmx.ca. Pretty sweet going into the States, you won't have to pay tax. And uh, we'll be able to give you guys the best deal possible uh, reach out to us on Instagram if you like at uh, electric MX. It's underscore electric underscore MX. Or we got the Facebooks. I think it's called Electric MX too. And there's as well the 
website, of course, again, www.electricmx.ca. Hit us up, hit us up on uh, any platform, we'll get back to you. Thanks, ciao.